हेलो एंड वेलकम हैव यू सीन द क्यूट कैट टुडे वी विल बी ट्राइंग टू पुट दिस क्यूट कैट ऑन टू द पेपर वॉच द वीडियो केयरफुली हैव पेशेंस एंड प्लान एवरीथिंग इन एडवांस टेक अ पीस ऑफ पेपर फाइंड द सेंटर ऑफ द पेपर एंड यूज ए ड्रॉइंग पेंसिल टू स्टार्ट use a very light line to draw the shapes of the cat as you are using a drawing pencil you must be very careful to use less pressure on the pencil as a soft pencil leaves lots of dust pencil dust on the paper and if you are using an oil pastel to color your cat that pencil dust will get mixed up with the oil pastel and will create a very dirty color that is why give less pressure onto the pencil while drawing and i am putting a small piece of paper just underneath i just want to make sure that uh, the color which i am putting onto the cat does not uh, get smudged I use a uh, small pencil strokes so as to achieve the effect of fur the animal this animal is covered with lots of hairs and uh, for giving the effect of hairs we must keep the strokes small so as to suggest the hair over its body i'm using yellow ochre okay one um, very important thing which uh, i would uh, like to say that the drawing which i am demonstrating in front of you is an example you need not to copy my drawing you are always free to experiment that is what i want i am giving you one idea you can always create a better drawing than that keep thinking you can create a cat which is brown in color this animal comes in variety of colors you can put a orange over the brown you can mix the orange and yellow ochre if you do not have the yellow ochre in your color box you can use the brown and yellow to create another shade of the cat furthermore you can create a dark brown cat too by mixing brown and a little bit of black with it but remember you cannot smudge with the fingers or with the help of a cotton swab because if you do that the whole cat the whole animal and the fur will become smooth thus you may lose the texture the natural fur appearance of the animal furthermore you can put some black patches or on the coat of the um, cat you can put some uh, small white paint poster color 
for white spots on its body. You can create a black cat too. But be careful while using the color black for the cat. You have to leave a hint of outline over this body. I am putting a pink for the nose. And W for the mouth. Okay, it's brown for the ears. You can put a dark color inside the ear. You can have uh, black or brown or otherwise you can mix both black and white to put gray or brown and black to put dark brown. Here I want to demonstrate that this cat is in the garden on the grass so I am putting the grass on the sides of the cat to add some uh, details you can uh, use a dark green uh, for the suggestion of few uh, blades of grass here and there you can put some yellow also on the top of the grass somewhere so as to suggest bright side of the grass. Remember dear learners you are always free to experiment. You can increase or decrease the size of the cat. You can change the color, you can change the appearance of the cat also. You can shift the cat onto the right side of the paper or left side of the paper and can put something else in front of it or at the back side of the animal to suggest more stories say for example if you keep a bowl of milk in front of the cat that will look nice if you want your cat to go for a fish you can put a small fish in front of the cat you can put a bell around the neck. The possibility is endless. But the basic need is to keep creating. I am using a light uh, blue for the sky you can use a dark one furthermore you can add few clouds so we are almost there we are almost at the end of the work I'm putting some last few strokes of brown for some patches. Okay, that's it. This is the end of it. Keep watching 
and keep creating.